Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Jason. Just sitting down to enjoy some Glenfiddich Fire and Cane. It's the only peated Glenfiddich. So while I enjoy that, wait for it to open up a little bit, I want to go through some of the Glenfiddich bottles that I have that I haven't opened. Let's check it out. So I got two from the uh, Perpetual Collection. So the Perpetual Collection, it's a travel exclusive, I believe. And basically, it's the same process they use for their Solera Vat 15, which is they have a giant vat. Every year, they add whiskey to it, and then they take some out for bottling, but the vat never empties. So it stays, say, half full. And as they fill more in, so presumably, there's whiskey in every bottle that has been there, some whiskey, that has been there from the very beginning of the first, first, first vat. I believe the 15... They say that uh, Solera vat hasn't been emptied since 1989, 1993, somewhere there. Like it's a long time. Anyway, so this is the first vat. They have four of them. All right, so the first one, bottled at 40%, they come in one liter bottles, vat one. And I also got vat two. I want to get all four and then do a comparison. And vat two, the second one. Uh, this one is bottled a little bit stronger. This one is 43%. So that's VAT 2. I'm not sure what the major difference is in the process of VAT 1 versus VAT 2, like in terms of aging and stuff. But this one is smooth and yet smooth and mellow, VAT 1. VAT 2 is Rich and dark. So smooth and mellow. Rich and dark. 40%. 43%. The next one I want to show you guys is Glenfiddich, the original. Now, uh, I do have a review of this whiskey because I had an extra bottle. So I opened it. I've finished it since then. But I still have one that is unopened. And I'll put the link in the description for the review so you guys can check it out. I don't think I'll open this bottle. Um, it is quite nice. I do like it since I've already tried it. I probably won't drink any more. I don't know how many, uh, if they're going to keep putting it out or if they're going to make more of these. But So essentially this was uh, a recreation of the original Glenfiddich single malt, which was the first single malt sold outside of Scotland as a single malt. I don't know if they did good or not because I haven't tried the original, but I've tried the original. It's good. I like it. And then there's the crown jewel of the collection. This one I got for Christmas. This is Glenfiddich Grand Cru. Check this out. This is quite pricey. A lot of that might be just that it's Glenfiddich, that it's a, a big company. It's aged 23 years, and yeah, I'll, I'll probably open this on some kind of special occasion. Like it's, the packaging and everything is quite beautiful. It's a little pricey, I won't lie. I wouldn't have bought this for myself, it was a gift. Um, yeah, I'll open that on a special occasion, and when I do, I'll review that one for you too. Let you know how it was. If it's as good as the winter storm, I'm, I'm in. Like I, I, I really, really love that. 21-year-aged uh, winter storm finished in ice cast. I have a review of that one, too. You can check out. I'll put the link for that below as well. But yeah, so Glenfiddich Grand Cru, aged 23 years. Unfortunately, it's bottled at 40%, which is a little disappointing considering the price point, but um, I enjoy Glenfiddichs, and most of them are bottled at 24, uh, 40%. So it's not a shocker. All right. That's the collection, guys. So I'm going to get into my Glenfiddich Fire and Cane. And you guys enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And tune in next time. I will probably be reviewing a scotch, whiskey, rye, Irish whiskey. Who knows? Maybe a bourbon. I, I don't know. It, it'll be a scotch. I'm almost, almost positive. But shh, that's just between us.